review of the Delike New Moon Fountain Pen. This is one of those pens that uh, Leo actually reviewed uh, about a year ago, I guess. Maybe just a few months ago. Anyway, kind of a Sailor knockoff. This is kind of like a Sailor Pro Gear. Now, I don't own a Sailor Pro Gear to compare it to, but I'm going to link you to one down in the description. It's... You know, it is an attractive pen. I actually like that color. I don't feel any compulsion to buy that pen, so I don't know if you'll ever see me review it, but, you know, it's nice enough looking. I uh, have basically the same pen here, but, you know, a lot less money. <laughs> uh, maybe we'll hold order of magnitude less, and maybe then some. This is a... Uh, so I can't compare the feel in the hand with that pen, but Leo does a good job with that. Uh, but same idea with the trim rings. Um, this one has a steel nib rather than a gold nib, which is what the Sailor has. Uh, and of course, it's a cartridge converter pen with a actually a, a kind of an attractive green converter. So this is uh, one of those Sailor, I hate to call them knockoffs, but I'm going to, Sailor knockoffs that have come out recently. Uh, just for giggles and snorts, let's look at the nib. That's one of the interesting spots on the pen. Oops, i got to turn the magnifier on. That's about all that's on the nib. There's a... I don't know what that symbol would be, but it's there. Doesn't give a size, but my guess is extra fine. And then the feed is just your plain old ordinary comb feed. Um... Uh, Around the cap, you get to see the words D-like, and then New Moon. So it comes in several colors. There's apparently some very attractive colors. In fact, one of the colors is very similar. Oops, almost knocked my water over. Uh, one of the colors is very similar to this uh, Lorelei Lingmo that I, I like very much. Uh, but I bought this one because it was pretty. And I don't have too many turquoise pens, especially because I keep downsizing my collection. So this is a D-like New Moon. Uh, I'm calling it an extra fine, but again, I have not it's not actually labeled as such. Um Pretty smooth for an extra fine though, so I guess you have that going for you. And it's comfortable in the grip, and I have it posted, and it posts pretty securely. Uh, the ink in it isn't, I don't know if I'll ever bother buying this ink again, but a sample was kind of fun. I have platinum pigmented blue. It might be interesting cleaning this out of the pen, we'll find out I guess. A pigmented ink means there are small particles suspended in it rather than it's a dye-based ink. Mm -hmm. As far as flex, forget it. Um, and I'm not one of those reviewers that's going to push it down to see what its limits are. This is not a flex pen. Does it have some line variation? Yeah. But not a flex pen. But enough line variation to be interesting. Uh, wetness and flow actually very impressed with this pen you know it's an extra fine but uh, I've had this inked for several weeks now and it's writing just fine you can probably get an idea from my pens in use over the summer how long I had this inked uh, and let's say smear test of course being a oops not sneer smear Ew, that is ugly writing right there. This is a pigmented ink, so it behaves a little differently, but it, you know, it's a decently wet pen. Not spectacular, because the nib is so fine. And reverse writing. Maybe an ultra extra fine if you're into that kind of thing. All right, so uh, comfortable in the hand. It's uh, not one of my huge pens, not one of my super small pens. Just kind of a comfortable pen. I am gripping around the threads, but they don't bother me. I will 
pull his camera back now and we'll do a writing sample. And then I'll tell you about my feelings. So uh, at the time I'm recording this, which is uh, October, or I'm sorry, August 16th, school is starting next week, so school is on my mind. So let's do a school, oops, you can't see it. A school-based quote. And I'll just mention, he has some interesting experience with education as a, a native person of a country that was colonized. Um, definitely a different perspective on education than a lot of us have had. So worth reading about. Uh, so as, as far as this pen goes, would I buy it again? No. Um, do, is it a good price? A good value? Yes. This is a good pen. It just... I have other pens that do this. I uh, this one just didn't excite me. Like you know, I'm keeping this one. This one was even cheaper. Yeah, ah, look at that finish. Uh, maybe if I bought a different color, it'd excite me more. I don't know. Um, but then I get then it, as I think, oh, I'll get rid of it. Then I think, oh, but really. So I guess I'm on the fence about whether I'm going to keep it or not. Uh, it does feel good in my hand. For when I need that really extra fine writing, it is perfect. I don't actually have a lot of extra... Okay, I don't have any extra fine pens, so that might be worth keeping just for that reason alone. Um, that said, if something happens to it, I probably wouldn't replace it, so we'll leave it there. Uh, but it is a good, reliable pen, and uh, I'm kind of excited to see some higher quality manufacture. I uh, wish it didn't look so much like a Sailor Pro Gear, but... I, I did well I did a video on knockoff pens a while back there's only so much you can do with a pen I mean well okay actually I don't have any really original pens over here but uh, <laughs> how many pens from the 20s looked like this um, how many pens look a, like a platinum look like a platinum 3776 or a Mont Blanc 149 or a Pelican M800 yeah, this is very Pelican M800-y, too. So, you know, at what point is it a knockoff? At what point is it inspired by? I, I err on the side of, if it's not designed to f fool you, I, it doesn't bother me too much. But then again, I'm not sailor trying to make money selling a, what is a $150 pen for the Pro Gear? If you buy a new, I can't remember the price off the top of my head. But you can click the link down there. I know... I don't make any money if you click the link. I just put it so you could see a picture, and it was not my picture, so uh, I didn't put it in the video. But anyway, I hope that was uh, useful. I hope it was interesting. And I uh, hope you're appreciating living in a country with uh, where you can get a free education. So I thank you for watching. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.